Hello, everyone. Welcome to another Top Love Tuesday. I'm trying something new today where I'm streaming live both on Facebook and on Instagram. So uh, hopefully this works. Those of you who are following or watching this on Instagram, let me know. Say hi in the comments. Let me know if you can see me. And same with Facebook. All right. If you're here with me, I'd love to hear from you in the comments. Um, you know, I'm so excited to be tuning in again for another quick 10 minute Tough Love Tuesday. And if this is your first time stumbling upon this segment, this is something I do every Tuesday where really my intention is to bring light and awareness into areas of your life that uh, may be holding you back, you know, as you're working towards building a healthier relationship with food or yourself, you know, and really whatever goal it is you're working towards. We talk all things mindset and deep, deep, deep inner work, which is really where everything starts. It's, it's really this inner peace for all of us and bringing awareness to where our patterns are coming from, where our struggles are coming from, what beliefs are holding us back. All these pieces really tie into um, creating the life that we want and really reaching our goals in a way that we want. So if you're someone who's been struggling year after year to reach the same goal over and over again without success, then I'm so glad that you're here. And I'm so glad that you're open to hearing some maybe not easy things. Okay. That's, that's the point here. I'm showing up as your coach here, coach Danny in the house, and I'm supporting you in really um, opening your mind and opening your eyes to some things that may not be easy to see or hear, but are mandatory pieces on your journey to food freedom, to sugar freedom, to ultimate health and happiness, we must be willing to look inward and look at the patterns in ourselves that are showing up that are not serving us and that are actually holding us back and contributing to our resistance, our self-sabotage, all that stuff. So I'm here to help you get over that. So let's do it. Are you guys ready for another Tough Love Tuesday? Yes. Okay. So before, before we dive in, um, I do want to share something special because today is a really special day for me. If you haven't seen, I've, I've posted already uh, both on Instagram and on my Facebook um, business page that today is officially five years since I started this incredible journey to follow my dreams and help women build lasting, healthy lifestyle shifts with with their relationship with food and their relationship with sugar. So five years ago, I was just an insecure version of myself, starting a business of all things, taking such a leap of faith to follow my dreams. And I am just so beyond humbled and grateful to look back over the last five years and just see how far I've come as a person and also in the way that I show up and support my clients and the results and the life-changing shifts that every single one of my clients is, is experiencing. It just, it means the world to me. So a big shout out. Thank you to all of you who have been supporting me. If Whether you've just discovered me, uh, you know, last week or you've been with me and, and stayed connected with me for the last five years. I'm so grateful for you. And um, I'm just so excited to continue showing up, continue supporting and um, continue just spreading this message around, you know, lasting health and happiness and finding that that healthy moderation and that freedom when it comes to, to food and sugar. So I'm so blessed. So, 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 so grateful. Okay. That's enough of that. Let's dive into today's topic because this is a, a really big one. And this is a theme that I've been um, seeing as, as those of you know, if you've been you know, on any of these Tough Love Tuesdays before, you know that I often pull things out of conversations that I'm having with clients this week. And this is something that has been um, a theme um, inside the group program that I'm hosting right now. And shout out to all of you uh, who are in the Break Free From Sugar program. I know some of you are watching these segments and you're commenting. So, so uh, fantastic to have you in there. And, um, you know, this is a conversation that I've been having with some of my private clients as well. And it's a theme that I see in almost all of all of the, the women that I work with. And I think it's such a common, um, common tendency for a lot of us. Okay. And this is, here it is. Okay. Enough of that. <laughs> Enough talking, Danny. Get to it. What's the tough love? So the tough love today is that you are probably using food to give you a sense of control in your life. Okay, you are most likely using food to cope in this crazy time of insecurity, uncertainty, and all of the stuff. Um, you know, this last year has definitely magnified this pattern for a lot of us. And this is this is one area that is so 
fascinating to bring awareness to because we can very easily do something about it. We can start to shift the lens and discover other areas in our life that we still have a sense of control. But often what happens when we as human beings feel like we don't have control of things, whether it's our job or our relationship or a pandemic, the world, our future, our health, all these things, when we feel out of control, what actually is happening at a root level is that we feel unsafe. And safety, for anyone who knows, you know, the chakra system and energetics is like the root chakra. The root chakra is our safety system. And that is where our energy of safety is housed. And it's um, safety itself is, and even, you know, using Maslow's hierarchy of needs, right? Safety is a basic human need. It's like at the base of any of our pyramids or any of our needs as a human being, we must feel safe. And, you know, the way we used to do this when we first came on the planet was, you know, surrounding ourselves with other people, you know, safety in numbers, and we would, we would build systems and we would um, delegate so that everybody, you know, knew their role in society so that we could, you know, make sure we had enough food and we could stay alive. And there's a lot of what's going on on our cellular subconscious level is to keep us safe so that we stay alive. And this is a very subconscious uh, very, very primitive need. And what happens is most of us feel senses of unsafety ever since childhood. There's that one instance that maybe your mom forgot you at the mall, or there's the one instance that someone said something to you that made you feel unsafe. And we carry these beliefs with us and we carry this kind of crack in our safety foundation uh, throughout life. And then when things come up, like for instance, a pandemic, we feel unsafe again. And what we do to cover up or to, to get a sense of safety is we layer on control. So for a lot of us, and it looks different for everyone, and I'm speaking very much from personal experience with this, is you know we look for ways to control things, whether it's trying to control people, trying to control you know our schedule, our day, uh, whatever that looks like. And when we, uh, when we kind of, that's kind of a, coping mechanism, we'll call it, right? When we're not feeling safe at an energetic subconscious level, when there's a crack in that safety chakra, then we start to, uh, for a lot of us, we put on that that layer of control. Well, if I just can control everything in my life, then, then I'll be safe. And the sad part is with that, the only thing that's certain in this world is that there's uncertainty, right? And we we never really like control is actually an illusion an illusion we never actually have control over over anything you know the universe has control we don't and it may feel like we do sometimes but we don't really and it's a, it's a fascinating um kind of hole to go down and i encourage you i'm just planting the seed for all of you today to really you know maybe journal on this and reflect on this like is there a part of you that's feeling unsafe and is there a part of you that's trying to build in some safety by looking for control in all sorts of areas in your life. And the next level being, are you using food as that piece to control, to fill that, that need for control in your life? Because right now, what I'm seeing, especially over the last year with almost every one of my clients is that obviously there is so much uncertainty and we have all been shaken to our core with a lot of uncertainty and a lot of question marks about what the future is going to look like this year. And for a lot of people, you know, that loss of that feeling of control and that loss of that feeling of safety turns us to food, right? Because food, we can control. We can choose what to eat when we eat it, how much to eat. And that fills a void for us. It fills that void of, oh, okay, this is one thing I have control over. And it kind of calms us. It calms our nervous system. It, it calms our subconscious, you know, primitive brain in, in helping us feel like we're going to be okay, that we're going to stay alive. And this is a really, really big root cause, a root, root um, piece for a lot of people, myself included, you know, when I was going through, you know, really understanding my relationship with food and the patterns and why I was eating when I wasn't actually needing food and all of this. And it's really fascinating. So I encourage you as you're diving into this topic and maybe reflecting on this for yourself to stay curious in this. Okay. This is, there's nothing wrong with you. If you notice this pattern coming up, this is extremely common. Okay. You're not alone in this, but bringing awareness to how this is showing up for you exactly. And starting to notice this pattern for yourself on a day-to-day -day basis is amazing. This is literally the first step for any change or any shift on an inner, 
on an inner world is pulling it from the subconscious to the conscious. So pulling it forward, bringing awareness, conscious awareness to the, the pattern and where it's coming from and how it's showing up for you. And from there, you can start to, to you know, devise a plan per se as to how you want to shift that or work on that for yourself. And trust me, it is so worth it to do that. But step one, awareness. So that's what I'm here to just drop this tough love onto you today. If, if you're using food or you're noticing that you're having unhealthy eating habits or you're eating food when you're not actually hungry, then definitely pay attention and, and do some, spend some time reflecting on if this is showing up for you as a source of control and maybe the only place in your life that you actually feel like you have any control. And from there, you can start to ask the other question of where else can I have control? You know, instead of food, let's not use food for that anymore. What else can I have control over in my life? And when we start looking, it's surprising how much you can actually find that you still do have sovereignty and control and freedom over. So there you have it. That's a tough love today. Thank you everyone who would join me for this five-year bizversary edition. I'm so grateful again to all of you. So much love. And I cannot wait to hear your comments below. As usual, let's keep the conversation going. Love to hear from, from everybody below. Or if you're watching me on Instagram, feel free to send me a DM and uh, let me know if this is something that's showing up for you. And uh, let's, let's, yeah, let's keep this conversation rocking and rolling. And I will see you all again, same time, uh, same place next week. Bye, everyone.